I'm about to prepare some materials for an upcoming uh, works in progress clinic that I'll be giving at our division's uh, full meet in a couple of weeks. And the topic there is uh, installing and weathering roofing materials on your model structures. And I thought while I was at it, I would do this video uh, to show a product that I've come to use uh, pretty much universally for installing any kind of roofing material on any kind of subroof. Um, certainly any of your laser cut uh, three tab shingles or wood shakes or uh, slate roof material. Uh, I even use this product to install a corrugated metal. About the only thing that I still use uh, glue for uh, as far as a roofing material is when I when I'm doing a tar paper roof. So this product is uh, 3M's number 465, I think you can see that, transfer tape. Transfer tape uh, is on a carrier strip of craft paper. I've put a strip down here on the bottom of this subroof, which is cardstock, uh, and I'll show you in a minute uh, what it looks like when I peel that backing off. But here's the information uh, that's pertinent. It's called 3M465 transfer tape. You can certainly find it on the internet or at your local Fastenal store. That's a national chain, so they're located uh, just about anywhere where we've traveled. This tape comes in a few widths. The most uh, useful for us for this purpose is either the half inch width or the three quarter inch width. I actually have the half inch width uh, for HO scale. It also would be great for uh, N scale. I think if I was going to buy it again, uh, which quite frankly I'll probably never have to because two rolls will last me my lifetime, I would probably get the three quarter inch even in uh, HO scale. And certainly for S and, and O scales, you'd want the three quarter. At one time they made a one inch. I don't know if it's still uh, available or not. But if you go into your fasten all store, they may or may not know what you're talking about, but these are their part numbers. So if you go equipped with the part numbers, they could probably order you uh, down to a single roll. One of the problems on the internet is you might have to buy, uh, you know, five, six rolls. And unless you get some uh, modeling friends to go in with you, it gets a little pricey. So the fasten all number on the half inch is uh, 0603100. And for the three quarter inch, the fasten all number is 0603. 101. So let's look what that uh, transfer tape looks like when you peel the uh, carrier strip, that craft paper covering off of it. So you just need to get under that strip and peel it off. Now, I think you can see, uh, you know, on my cardstock, the shiny part there is just that adhesive that's left uh, when you, uh, from the transfer tape. So it's very thin. You can see through it. You can see the lines, the guidelines that I've drawn on my subroof here. Um, and it is very aggressively um, sticky. So what you're going to want to do, and I, I'm installing, by the way, uh, a slate roof here. And although this slate roof has a pretty decent adhesive on the back, uh, I never trust it in my humid basement. So even when I, before I discovered this transfer tape, I was using uh, glue in addition to the, the adhesive that the manufacturer had put on. And nowadays, I typically buy my roofing material without any adhesive on the back since I'm not going to use it anyway. And I just place it as my first strip here. Let it overlap just a little bit. And when I get it where I think it's good, I'll come in and just with the back of my tweezers, rub the top part of that into that transfer tape. And that's it. If you try to get that off, you're just going to tear that to pieces. 
I let it overhang a little bit on each side and when I'm done with the whole roof I'll, cu I'll turn it over. I put a spacer, usually a, a thin straight edge, along the side of the roof and then just cut off the excess uh, with a double edge uh, razor blade. So I'm going to put a second, second row of that in. Now normally when I do a slate roof I do uh, about three rows of rectangular slates and then uh, two or three rows of fish scale slates and so forth and I alternate that uh, all the way up the roof. And of course these I have to shift over half a slate and get those spaced right, tap it down run this across the top and so forth. Now after I get a few rows on I'll switch to the fish scale and uh, you know, there's a lot of manufacturers of roofing material out there and the one that I typically use, just because they make a nice product, uh, is Rusty Stump Scale Models and you can see they sell a, a package that's uh, mixed slate both square and fish scale so they'll they'll give you enough so that you can do the kind of alternating that I'm talking about. And of course these are all uniformly uh, colored the same color gray and, and a slate roof to really look realistic has to have some variation in the slates and uh, in a couple of days if you if you look on my YouTube channel you'll see I will do a video on how to color slate roofs but I I want to show you now what I do when I put my my next piece of transfer tape on. I would put another row, maybe two on here normally before I'd put down more tape, but for the sake of this video I want to uh, move it along so let me show you what I do. And I make it so that it extends over each side a bit so that I have room to hold it. And you do not need to overlap this, you just kind of start it right above the other shiny tape that's already down there burnish it down good back of your fingernail turn it over take your single edge razor blade and score it right along the roof okay and the reason I don't put this all the way up the roof first is, believe it or not, it's, it's so aggressive that if you're laying your hands on the roof where you haven't put the shingles down yet, uh, your hand adheres to it and it's a pain in the neck. And there. And you just uh, continue all the way up now uh, to the top of the roof, uh, alternating your whatever your roofing material is. So again, the transfer tape, about the only thing I use anymore to uh, put roofing material onto a subroof. And it works well with cardstock, um, basswood subroof, uh, works fine with styrene, adheres very well, and this is Strathmore board. And those are the, the materials I normally use for my subroofs, and it works fine with all of them. So give it a try. Um, I, you know, my. My luck with the self-adhesive shingles in my very humid basement has not been good over the years. Sooner or later, uh, I've had them lift up. So I've always either used glue, uh, which, which can be very messy, time-consuming, and a pain in the neck, or this, which is very quick uh, and easy. So give it a try.